Although the day started off rough with heavy rains, clearly Mother Nature got the memo that the second day of CCON 2017 NY presented by Toyota was beginning. By the time former Coco Avenue's Jenny Lyric took the convention stage for a surprise morning performance, the sun was shining, the sky was clear, and there were already people lining up for the concert's general admission. These fans were not about to miss this once-in-a-lifetime chance to see their faves up close one once, the name for twice as loving fans, even braved the rain and camped out in line overnight. That's some serious dedication. Panels for the day started off on a serious note with cross-cultural clashes in Hallyu, moderated by K-pop stars Only Francis, where Pop Hallyu content creators Whitney Bay, Eddie, Jasmine, and former Coco Avenue members Jenny Lyric and Jenna Rose discussed issues like cultural appropriation as they appear in the Korean world. Excitement only grew as more attendees filled Prudential Center's convention grounds, with many fans sporting gear of their favorite group, ready to participate in the day's programming. The Toyota and AT and T booths played popular K-pop jams where attendees were free to go up and showcase their choreography knowledge. Twice as TT was especially popular people would run to dance as soon as they heard those iconic opening synths. Aside from dancing, attendees could receive free samples of Korean snacks and skincare, try their luck at winning full-size items, Innisfree's claw game was particularly fun, and pick the brains of their favorite Korean beauty gurus at panels, workshops, and Q&A sessions. Here's a part of Korean culture that usually goes unnoticed, their massive gaming scene. Kukon NY offered a taste of the hype with a tent that boasted, in addition to air conditioning and an escape from the heat, a place to test out new games and devices like the game Vice, purchase merch from popular gaming teams like Counter Logic Gaming and Immortals, and see Amazon's Mobile Masters Invitational. The tournament included mobile games Summoner's War, Vainglory, and Hearthstone, and a total of $65,000 in prizes. Casted and streamed on Twitch, the Mobile Masters Invitational featured pro players battling it out live and gave Congo as a small taste of the gaming scene that also takes a large spot in Hallyu culture. Another highlight of Saturday was Super AMX's K-pop Battles. A live K-pop dance cover event where teams from all over the country, one team came all the way from Texas, to show off their skills. Haru, hailing from New Brunswick, New Jersey, defended their spot as reigning champions and took home the first place trophy for the second year in a row with Dreamcatcher's Good Night. Rice Paddy Heroes came in at second place and Diamond came in at third place both from Boston, Massachusetts. The convention portion of CCON was a great lead up to the second and last day of CCON Zen. Countdown Concert. Yoon Curry Ahn and One Million Dance Studio made up the night's pre-show, leading into the concert's opening act, twice presented concertgoers with a tribute to girl group legends with their take on the Wonder Girls hit Nobody and Miss A's Bad Girl, Good Girl. Up 10 Tion took the stage next, performing their comeback runner even before it debuted in Korea. The rookie group's clean and exciting choreography, especially in their song Attention, garnered lots of noise from the fans. The group was followed by NCT 127, another new boy band who recently celebrated their one-year anniversary. Their explosive title tracks Firetruck and Limitless contrasted greatly with the feel-good vibes of Good Thing, Zero Mile, and a cute section where members Thailand or Young serenaded a fan with love songs. NCT 127 ended their set with Cherry Bomb. Their newest comeback the audience went wild at the group's jaw-dropping choreography. 
U.P. Tentillon then returned to the stage for a special stage where they performed Abba's Honey Honey, a heartwarming tribute to their fans, called Honey Tennis. Their cute vibes led smoothly into girl group Wonder Twice, performing their hit Signal, TT, Cheer Up, and Knock Knock, and even including a special section to interact with the audience and pose cutely for photos. CN Blue, the night's final headliners, then took the stage with Between Us, Cinderella, It's You, and Can't Stop. Frontman Yonghua was extremely playful with the audience, dancing and moving around the entire stage. All of Con's Day 2 performers then came out for the closing stage, sending the audience their final goodbyes with waves, finger hearts, kisses, and lots of confetti. It was sad to see Con 2017 come to an end but it was an experience that I'll always treasure and never forget. Until next year. Copyright Copyright 2017 Kpopstars.com. All rights reserved.